So you've got very big photos and you'd like to reduce the size of them. The reason why you want to do this is because you want to attach a lot of photos to an email, let's say. Now when you take your photo with your high resolution camera, they come up in the megabytes and you're limited as to how many photos that you can send. So how do you reduce the size of your images so that they're more easily handled by email programs or let's say you want to upload them to the web? Well, with a Windows 7 machine, an operating system I should say, Windows 7 gives you a program. You don't have to invest in fancy programs or be downloading the front and center. It's already there and that program is called Paint. Now how you find it is, and I'm assuming you are beginners, but you come down to your start button and just click on start. Now you have search programs and files field and just simply type in paint. And under the programs heading you will see this paint logo and click on that to open up the program. Here we have a nice empty page. Now I need to go and find my photo. How do I do that? Well, this little no-name button up here, I call it the file button, but they call it the paint button, which means nothing. But if you click on that tiny little down arrow, all sorts of things happen. Now I want to open the file, open my photo. So I look for open and left click on open. When you do that, Windows Explorer takes you into your libraries. Now where you want to be, I'm already where I want to be, but you may not be. So what I want you to do is look down the side here and this is like a navigation tree and you need to click on your pictures library because this is where all your pictures are filed. And when you do that, all the files that I know you've got, uh, folders are all there, you need to navigate and go and find them. Now I have mine in folders so I need to double click to open my folder. They're in MCT Pictures and I know that I filed it under MCT Logo. I'm going to double click on that and there it is. This is my file that I want to open up and reduce. So here we go, we come down to open and I'll open it up in paint. Now look at that, it's huge. Okay, so easy. If you look up to your ribbon, look at that there's a resize button and all we need to do is click on that. Now here it gets a little bit tricky. Now you and I, we talk in percentages, that's probably easier, but what you really need to understand is about pixels. If you click on pixels, you will see that its current size is 2400 by 1200. Yeah. Now I can reduce it in pixel size, I can reduce it down and let's say by half. So the horizontal would become 1200 and look at that, the vertical, it went down and reduced itself all by itself. Now that's because I have maintain aspect ratio ticked. Now that means that it keeps the same shape. So if you adjust one, then the other one automatically adjusts for you. And it's really good to have that ticked, otherwise you can end up with all sorts of distortion. And then I click OK. So now my photo is effectively reduced by half. Now if I look down here, the size that I understand is kilobytes, megabytes, gigabytes. Now down here it says 419 kilobytes. Well thank you very much, I can email my logo quite comfortably at that size and really at that size you could I would only do if that was a photo a whole heap of photos and you wanted to say 10 would be the maximum I would attach to one email at 419 kilobytes each so you aim for about the 400 at a reasonably high quality um, you can keep on going you could reduce that even further to do it you would just come back to the resize button and then you could just go by percentage. So you think, oh, I want it around 200 kilobyte. So easy, just do by 50%. See I'm on percentage now? There we go. So it's actually now a quarter of the original size. So let's go file and now I want to come up and save it, but save as. I don't want to hit save 
if I don't want to lose my original large image. So I'm just going to click on Save As. Now I need to rename it. Yeah. So I'm going to wipe that out and then I'm going to call it MCT logo. Now you could write email to remind you that it's small or just SM for small or SML. SML. So now I know that's my small version and I save. And it's saved into the same folder next to the original in alphabetical or numerical order, however you have renamed your photos. So there it is. You have now, in a couple of easy clicks, learnt to reduce the size of your images. Well done.